Hey guys, it is Saturday night here in the Philippines and it is time for us to do our second free for all weekend video and as promised we are taking a look at a couple of mini GT Liberty Walk GTRs and they're both Miho exclusives for the USA and I'm going to point out what is so exclusive about these and what differs them from the rest. Uh, to kind of set the stage, I kind of put out a few of the other GTO, GTRs uh, that we have unboxed in the past. Um, also, before we get really deep into the video, I am using a different phone tonight to record the video because I was having some internet problems here and I don't know when I can get them fixed and my phone is like really sensitive to the internet quality and this phone is not so I figured it may be better to record with this one and this one is supposed to have like better video quality and camera quality than my other phone so we'll see figure I would experiment with this one and hopefully before my next video they will have the internet fixed and we will be able to pick whichever device seems to record the best so, without any other further announcements, let's get to business here. Um, these both are really nice uh, GTRs. And this one I really like because it has painted wheels. They're red instead of always being like the typical black. It is the typical GTR. Uh, I think these are Forgiato wheels that they use. But the thing is that they're painted red, so you can see all the details of the wheel and everything like that. So they look really good. Uh, the paint job on this car is kind of cool too. As I pointed out in the last video on Mini GT with the Liberty Walk Beamers, this kind of looks similar to the white Liberty Walk BMW with the stripes because it had red, light blue, and dark blue, just like this, except it didn't have the Martini sponsorship on it. So that's why I said I was tempted to unbox this one with the BMW, but I didn't. I saved it because I knew I had the other dark blue one coming. So... These are a little different than our usual unboxing because these are in a clamshell. So I'll go over kind of like we do in the others. But um, really uh, what I wanted to point out is like these exclusives that they're trying to sell you on. Like saying limited to, what is it, 1,200 pieces. Well, this one is 2,400. And then this guy here is... 1800 and then we have a r32 that is not here yet but it will be here next week which is limited to 1200 well to be honest with you guys there's really nothing special about these all the limited edition thing is is the packaging this isn't even like a miho exclusive paint job or anything it's a regular run mini gt car package different and it comes with the regular packaging to begin with I, like the box how i've told you guys before that the box is how they come packaged in asia and europe kind of like our tamikas they're just placed in the box and wrapped with some kind of cellophane wrap so the only thing that Miho is doing is repackaging these in a clamshell. And they only make a few thousand of them, like this one, only 2,400. That one, only 1,800. And the R32, I'll show you guys in a week or so, is only 1,200. But these are cars that they've made thousands of for, like, European and Asian release and stuff. So you're not getting a limited die cast. You're getting a limited clamshell package and that is it. So if you're paying extra money to get this USA exclusive, um, I probably wouldn't do it uh, unless you're a packaging person and you keep these cars packaged, then okay, maybe. Plus it's great because they're displayed nicely with the box. 
You don't have to worry about like taking the cellophane off the box. I know some people are really picky about that too with uh, unpackaging things and taking the cellophane off. <clears throat> so with this, they usually don't even get a chance to look at their car. So they leave them wrapped in the cellophane box. But uh, anyways, this way you can see them. But if you plan on opening these, there's no sense in like spending the extra money to get this exclusive. Uh, unless they may be cheaper in the U.S. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is cheaper in the U.S. I know for myself personally, it's cheaper for me just to buy it in the box from our local hobby shop instead of getting these Miho exclusives. But when I ordered these, I thought the car was going to be exclusive. And I pre-ordered these a couple months back, so kind of stuck with them and there's nothing really special about them uh the cars are great they're awesome but nothing exclusive except for the clamshell which probably will end up getting thrown away by me anyways because i just open the cars and put them in my display case i will keep the box so but yeah that's the exclusive part sometimes they do have like a one-off paint job like for example the liberty walk hurricane that came out about a month or two ago that was yellow that is a one-off paint job for miho but these guys no it's not these are your standard release paint jobs just like the toys r us exclusives those are they are exclusive there are like features on the car that are not in your typical or not on your typical uh retail release like the white huracan for toys r us it has like a orangish goldish reddish looking rim uh kind of a little duller than these and that is the toys r us exclusive the regular run one has black wheels so that's the difference at least with the toys r us exclusives they're putting different wheels on it just like the blue pandem release gtr there is one that is a japanese exclusive that is like a, I don't know, sapphire metallic blue. Then they also did it for Toys R Us. But the Toys R Us one also has matching blue wheels. So that does give it a, some significant difference. But uh, most of the Mihos, just to enlighten you guys on it, are just repackages. That's all they are. The, the car is exactly the same. So without any further ado, let's get this out of the box and look at him, or out of the clamshell. Uh, so I'm not really going to read anything off this package here. I will read off the box as usual. And then we just want to be pulling the car directly out of the box. So... On the box, as usual, this is a picture of the die cast, not the one-to-one -one car. Mini GT, Liberty Walk, uh, Liberty Walk, LBWK in the background, LB Works Nissan GTR Martini Racing. Collector number 133. Your warning label, age restrictions, as usual. Liberty Walk emblem on one end cap, Mini GT emblem. An affiliate company of TSM model on the other end cap. Top of the box usually has collector number. The bottom side or back, whatever you want to call it, has all of your Nissan licensing, how to contact Mini GT, their website, their Facebook page, their Twitter page, and then this one, Liberty Works Nissan GTR. R35 Type 1 Rear Wing Version 1 of Martini Racing Left Hand Drive. That's another thing with the Miho exclusives. I think they are all left hand drive if they're the USA exclusives because that's how our cars come in the US. So unless they are standard, no option available, right hand drive car, I think all of the Miho exclusives will be left-hand drive if you have the option to pick. Uh, but like the R32, it will be right-hand drive because we never sold those in the States and there was never a left-hand drive R32 straight from Nissan as far as I know. So they're all going to be right-hand drive issues. 
but the R35 on the other hand was a globally sold vehicle so you got both variants and if for USA exclusive they're all going to be left hand drive so let's get a closer look at this guy and this car is really nice looking I do dig the paint job um, this is their first version of the Liberty Walk kit which is still a really nice kit um, your high wing instead of a ducktail, and then the mirrors on this guy are, I think, plastic because they don't flex at all. So this one you want to be extra careful with. Slightly detailed chassis, screwed on base as usual. Liberty Walk rear plate, red acrylic tail light lenses. Then front clear acrylic headlight lenses. Your turbo intercooler. A lot of times those said Gretty. So this one does not say that. Roof, deck lid, and hood stripes with the martini name on the hood and both doors. So really cool car. I'm very happy to be able to add this one to my GTR collection. So <clears throat> as I said the other day when we were doing the breast cancer awareness video with all the pink cars and I mentioned with the pink pig, this is their third rendition of a Liberty Walk kit. And um, Excuse me, guys, I'm a little choked up, so I had to keep drinking some water here. But um, anyways, this is the one that I was pointing out that I only have one version of this car, but we had another one coming up, and that's the dark blue one. Like with this, I don't even know what to call this except like a rear mount wing. They kind of remind me of like an open wheel racer, like IndyCar style wing. And then it has like front splitters i don't even know what to call those either your front valence panel but it's like a double spoiler on each side that kind of give it some more downforce i believe but it's a very unique looking body kit not like your typical liberty walk stuff um so this is your blue one and once again this is the same run-of-the-mill car that you get in the box only. The only thing that Miho did was repackage it. And there's nothing special about it. Um, except you get this clamshell package. And you get this kind of unique background card. And then on the back of the package. It's nothing more than like your box laid out in one panel. I guess you could say. Because it has the TSM model at the top, Mini GT, affiliate company, a TSM model. And then it just tells you a little more like TSM models pr proudly introducing the all new Mini GT 164 series featuring high quality 164 scale model cars, authentic detail, die cast body and chassis, limited edition runs blah 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 and then it tells you down here your miho and m and j toys their contact information how to follow them on facebook and twitter then it gives you the warning label and age restriction like it did on the box and then it tells you about mini gt how to contact them and then your nissan licensing down here then your UPC code back here, same thing, LB Works, Nissan GTR R35, Type 2, Rear Wing Version 3, Blue Liberty Work uh, Livery 2.0 Left Hand Drive. So everything the box would say just laid out in one panel instead of looking at like six different panels to see the end caps to see the back of the box to see the front of the box and blah 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 so that's the only thing that this package does it kind of just lays the box out like if you were to unfold your box uh, one other thing i'll show you with the box i didn't on the other car that's i guess i wouldn't say unique but the plastic 
PVC that holds the car in place on top of the box is not the same one that goes inside the box. But they wanted to give you the real feel of like the box experience, I guess. So if you did want to put it in the box, you could. So the box opens and then you have your PVC plastic that you usually would have. The tray type thing to put the car in in case you did want to put it in the box and put it away so that's how I usually unbox them I'm usually sliding them out of the box and showing you this um and once again we'll briefly look at this box but I kind of read everything already uh, so you could see the wall the actual die cast not the one-to-one -one car there's the name like I read off the back of the package Collector number 135, your warning labels and age restrictions like it had on the back of the packaging. The Nissan licensing, how to contact Mini GT and your UPC code with the indication left hand drive version 2 with the rear wing version 3 blue LB work livery 2.0. So the only thing this doesn't have is the Miho name and how to contact Miho. So, same package, or same indications on the back of the Miho package. So, as I said, guys, if you're an opener and you can buy the box cars cheaper, buy the box cars because that is the only difference is that clamshell. Uh, but if you're not an opener, then these Liberty, or not Liberty Walk, but these Miho um, exclusive clamshells are the way to go. Because you get to see your car and you don't have to take the cellophane off the box or anything like that. So everything's transparent and visible for you. So if you are not an opener, these are actually the way to go. If you are an opener, then the box is the way to go. But as I said, do some research because there are some exclusive colors like the Yellow Hurricane, which I don't think is going to be a regular run um, uh, Mini GT car. So let's get a look at this guy. As I said, same body kit as the Pink Pig, that version 2 with the Type 3 rear wing. I guess the number one is the high wing, and I don't have any ducktails out here. I actually only have one ducktail pandem. Uh, but there's the high wing, the ducktail, and then this rear mount, like I always call it, IRL type of wing. They do have a silhouette body kit coming up. It may already be out. There may be a white variant out there, but I don't think it's been released yet, but I may be wrong. But it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like the Huracan silhouette. Um, it has like a center brace. And it's a little bit bulkier looking wing. Almost, I don't know, kind of reminds you of like what the silhouette racers used to look like. I think even the rear fender flares are a little different on the body kit. I think they're a little more squared off. But that I may be wrong about. But the rear wing is different definitely different i don't know the significant differences in the body kit though but this is a very nice car um i don't know if it's the camera on this one or the wheels on this car but i can see the details on the wheels of this one even though they're black much better with this camera than i could on my samson so I don't know, I'll have to watch the video when I'm done, but I think this one does better video quality in my opinion. You guys can give me your feedback. So, not really a carbon fiber hood, it's kind of painted gloss black. Now, the roof panel, though, on the other hand, looks like a carbon fiber roof panel. Your inner cooler acrylic headlight lenses, as usual, and these double, like, Front spoilers on the sides of the fender. Then you get your regular front valence panel. And then this cutout in the flare, which almost reminds me of like an old Corvette with the side cutout for like the side pipes on an old Stingray or something. So not sure what that's for there, to be honest with you. It may even be an exhaust 
outlet, but I don't think so. And this guy also has more stiff mirrors, so you want to be careful with this one. They're rubber, but still a little stiff, not like the others. Um, then you have the unique back part of this flare. It's not like your typical one. It's just slightly different. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, then the rear valence panel, bumper cover, whatever you want to call it, is unique compared to all the others. Then you have your typical Liberty Walk plate. Your No, actually, this one doesn't even have Liberty Walk on the plate. Sorry. Uh, so, red acrylic lenses. Then the Liberty Walk livery. And so on. So, nice car. Uh, then same slightly detailed chassis, screwed down base. This one doesn't have the colored rear splitter and neither does this one. I think that's only on the Pandoms maybe. Yeah, maybe it is only on the Pandom cars. Um, so yeah, the Pandom actually I think is my favorite body kit to be honest with you guys. But there's my Liberty Walk lineup now. I have six of them with the Liberty Walk GTRs. Uh, I have a couple more of them coming in the future months. So we'll be taking a look at them. Next week we'll be taking a look at a new HKS R32. And then the old HKS R32. The first release R32 from Mini GT. But in the Miho packaging. I'll just show you guys that and we'll go over the original one and show you that there are no differences in the die cast themselves. Then um, starting on Monday I'm going to do my Halloween kickoff. I was going to do one special video but I figured I would do a week full of Halloween stuff and then we'll do our like spooktacular extravaganza I guess I'll call it on Saturday where we'll take a look at a bunch of like Halloween focused cars that we've unboxed over the past 10 months or so. Monday though we're going to do round two stuff and it will have some <clears throat> of your like typical Halloween type cars. Some from movies, some hearses and other stuff like that. Uh, then some monster trucks too, but they're really just lifted square bodies. But hey, some people refer to them as monster trucks, so it gives you that monster theme for Halloween. So we'll do that. And then on Wednesday for our chase car unboxing, I actually have a couple of spooky chase car green machines that are kind of linked to some scary movies or TV shows to unbox for you guys and then as I said on Saturday we'll just take a look at a bunch of Halloween type of vehicles from movies and then it's cars that just have a scary history or heritage behind them so we'll be doing that on Saturday so next week will be a whole week filled of Halloween type of cars and videos so make sure you tune back in on Monday for that uh, first one with the round two Halloween spooktacular and then uh, if you have not subscribed yet guys please remember to do so please give me a thumbs up and share the video and tell your friends about my channel so I will see you guys on Monday thanks for watching